Hi guys, B Sims here and welcome back to the channel and today I bring to you a very special video. So first off, Happy New Year. It is 2K17 and it's going to be lit guys. We're going to make this into a beautiful year. And I'm really excited to introduce my new LP um, and it is the Big Sister Challenge. Now I know I, I read a few comments when I put out the video when I asked for people to vote. A lot of people said they're seeing a lot of this on YouTube. And I know, and it's pretty much because there's not that many good Sims 4 challenges. It's just not that, they're just not that many. And I was looking at Drifter and it was really, um, it really started us off in uh, Willow Creek and I really, or Oasis, Oasis Springs, whatever it's called. I really wanted to start it in San Machino because I just got City Living and I have not played it at all. I bought City Living. I think I bought it Christmas Day and I have not played it because I've been saving it sa what I've been saving it for this challenge or for the new LP I was gonna do and I asked by the creator of the drifter challenge if there was any uh, scenarios in San Machino and she said no so that's why I decided to go with uh, the big sister challenge and I get to have a storyline and we all know that I, I just love storytelling it's kind of my thing it's what I like to do so Really excited to be bringing this to you guys. Um, we actually made these two beautiful ladies in a live stream. I will link that down below in the description. So make sure you check that out if you would like to see this in real time. Um, but this is the sped up version. And I have finally written out the storyline. And uh, towards the end of the stream, towards the end of this video, you'll see me go back and change a couple of outfits between both girls. Just because during the live stream, I was getting so many ideas from the chat. And just like thinking overall and seeing how we can make like how can we really incorporate city living like San Machino into their storyline. So I finally got a uh, little scenario coming up with, you know, I, I wrote it down. So I'm going to read it to you guys and then I have some stuff to talk to y'all about because I've just tested some things to try to see if this is going to work. And it didn't, <laughs> of course. So I'll be talking about that in a little bit. But here is the storyline. Monique, who's the oldest, she's the teenager, and then we have Darcy, who is our little girl, our little child. Okay, here we go. Monique and Darcy Harrow are sisters living in San Machino. Though they are sisters, they are extremely different. It was very clear from an early age that Monique, the oldest, was very talented and very creative. Before attending high school, she was granted a full scholarship to the best creative arts high school program in the world. She's been away at Riverview Creative Arts High for three years. Darcy, on the other hand, hasn't, wait, Darcy, on the other hand, wasn't quite gifted with the creative gene. She is more of a wandering soul. Growing up in the city has its peaks for a small kid. City food, good friends, the overall spontaneity, that's all Darcy lives for. Recently, the girl's thoughtless mother married a rich young nectar salesman and has, complete, and has completely abandoned Darcy. One day, Darcy returned home from school to find the apartment completely gutted. The only thing that was there was an old shoebox and a note. The note read, your sister should be home soon, love you both. And the shoebox had a camera and $6,000 inside. Monique was informed of the news and had no, clue to, had no choice but to return home to take care of her sister. With Monique's proper suburban ways and Darcy's adventurous street smarts, Will the two ever be able to live together without bumping heads? This is the Big Sisters, Big Sisters Challenge. So that's the storyline. And I'm really excited about it because I I love the fact that when we were making Darcy, we I kept saying that she reminds me of like, first off, she looks like Lauren Hill. I don't I I definitely see that she looks like a Lauren Hill. And second, like when I was creating Darcy, I kept feeling like this young, youthful vibe. And like when I was a kid, I never grew up in the city, but I always lived close to the city. But I, I wasn't in the city as a kid. I was at home and you know, outside in a little cul-de-sac with all my other friends and riding bikes and stuff. And I remember like, especially a lot of 90s kids, we went outside. Like we went outside, we were out. We were sitting on them little electric box units and we was with our friends and like our parents really didn't have to watch us. Like I was reading this article the other day and this lady had got arrested and Child Protective Services came to her house because she let her kids go outside unattended. Like, what what age do we live in that our 10-year-olds can't go outside and just play with chalk and 
and go down the street. Like, I don't know. When I grew up, that was totally fine. And when I have children, best believe they're going outside. I mean, I'm all about the video game life, but being outside really shaped my childhood. Like, I mean, I remember going to Toys R Us and getting chalks and hula hoops and jump ropes and the skip it. And when Christmas came around, all you wanted was outdoor stuff. And like in my family, you used to get the option of do you want to be grounded or do you want to miss a day of not going outside or a week of going outside? And we would take, oh wait, 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 that wasn't it. It was like you either, you can go outside and you gotta do like, you gotta write or something like, write a hundred times, I will not talk back or something like that. It was crazy, my, you know, my parents. And I always chose the option of, I'm going outside. Like, I don't care what I gotta do. If I gotta get a little pop on the hand, if I gotta write, if I gotta read two books, I'm going outside the next day because going outside was so important to me. So I saw Darcy as being that wandering, adventurous kid, you know, hanging out with her friends, you know, going to the playground just hanging out on the monkey bars and I just I know my fingers are crossed my lord is praying I know that the sims team is gonna bless us 2k what am I doing I know he's gonna bless us 2k 17 with some generations some family interactions our children and our babies will not be useless in 2017. Our children and our babies will not be useless in The Sims. In 2K17, it just won't happen. I know The Sims are just working their butts off, trying to fix it. I know. But um, I I love Monique. Monique. This is Monique who we're drawing right now. We're pretty much about to go to Darcy, but Monique was just so beautiful. And I just saw her being really pure. And I wanted to play in a different mind frame because the last two dramatic LPs I had, again, dark and I don't know, I, I just, I found it very interesting, but this storyline, I kind of want it to be bright and I kind of want it to mix it with my adventures in the city as well as whatever city living has to offer as well. So, um, I did get the idea from one of the viewers, Renee Hager, how you doing? Um, we had made a sim when I first bought City Living, I think it was my post-Christmas live stream we made a sim and we decided to make we you know basically stole her genetics and made a child and we found some random male sim on the gallery and had beautiful children so yes um and here is darcy right now so i'm really excited about it okay let me tell you my issues already so in the sims 4 with city living the main reason i bought city living first we get to live in apartments that's nice but i love the districts that we had like the spice district the uptown and, and and the classy I don't know the other ones but the I just love the idea of having a flea market and it's basically DC <laughs> like having southeast and like northeast with the spice markets and all the different kind of flea markets and just having like that true like growing up and, and like sitting on the porch front like the Hey Arnold type of it, Hey Hey Arnold type city, and then we go to Upscale, which is like Northwest, and we have all the fan trees, fancy museums, and all the penthouses, and all the nice sky rise buildings, and um, I'm, I don't know, I'm just really excited about it. Anyway, I tested it out because, as you know, Monique is very creative, so she's gonna have a few traits, and not maxed out, but she's gonna have, um, she's gonna be working on some traits, and basically. I really wanted to play with photography in this LP because I love photography in The Sims 4. I hate the poses, but I discovered my pose pack. So that's why a lot of my thumbnails, I've been having people pose because I'm learning and I absolutely love it. And um, I just discovered that the whole yard sale thing and like the little wall gallery where you can go out to the street and sell your stuff, it does not take photographs. So I was like, what, yo, really? Like how am I like, it went because I my plan was to like go around, take pictures of things, and also have you guys give me scenarios of things, maybe weddings or a birthday party or a couple who's pregnant. Or I just had all these ideas because there's so many different poses out there. I wanted to add this into this LP, and I still am because I, I'm, I think I'm going to work around it. But the whole point was to take those pictures and go out and sell them on the street and make money that way and live off of that, and then really enhance Monique's creativity side and her photography. And then as well as probably getting Darcy to come up in that field as well. And because we were talking about in the live stream how we wanted Darcy to be like, uh, I guess we're going to get her into music because she looks like Lauren Hill and she's giving me that little Lauren Hill vibe. So I was like, we definitely should get her into like the piano and singing and karaoke and all that stuff. 
and um, we can't sell we can't sell pictures. And then I was like, okay, if I have to resort to a retail lot, let me see if they fix the bug because I had an off-screen gameplay that I played almost a year, literally. I would say maybe nine months ago. Now a whole baby's length of time, a whole creation of a baby went by, and Sims has not fixed this glitch. Basically, if you go and sell your photographs on a retail lot, they only sell for fifteen dollars, regardless of skill, regardless of quality. They only sell for fifteen dollars, and I'm like, Sims, come on! Having a photography skill was such a—it's not—it wasn't new, but it was such a nice feature for Sims Four, and it's still bugged. I mean, come on, Sims. Like y'all hurting my feelings so I'm hoping that I can after this video go find a mod or something that is pretty much gonna have us pretty much gonna give us the option of putting whatever we want on that little wall mount part I don't know like it wouldn't clip to the table and it wouldn't clip to the board to the wall and I was just like this is so irritating and I'm pretty sure it's because they don't they have not done the little like prices of photography and pictures and photos and things so <sighs> super stressed after that i put a video up on twitter i tagged the sims team i was just like why is this a thing like what if a, if a photograph can go on a wall why can't i put it on the wall gallery so i can sell it on the street and it's like a part of it's a painting it's oh, so annoying basically you're supposed to be able to select to sell collectibles and creations a picture is a creation why can't we sell that and it's so annoying. If you want to see what I'm talking about, there is a video on my Twitter page. It's like 15 seconds long of me trying to clip this this photograph to that wall. Like I took a picture with the camera or your cell phone or or the photo gallery little big old white background thing. And it just wouldn't, you can't sell them. That's it. You only can sell them in your inventory. And I wanted to have that flea market type feel. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to see if there's a mod. Hopefully there is. But it was just messing up my creativity and I was getting upset. But this is what we're going to do. So in this LP, Monique will be doing like basically trying to start her own business without necessarily being labeled as a business because we can't right now. Basically starting her own business as a photographer. People can call her for weddings if you want your wedding pictures done. People can call her for birthday parties. People can call her for a general photo shoot. People can call her for um, uh, parties, events uh pregnancies announcements a uh, kids anything so that's where you guys can come in i would love if you guys would drop a couple of scenarios think like a wedding planner or an event planner if you call a photographer what would you want a photographer for if you were wanted for a ceremony like a wedding or a birthday or your kids are having a sleepover like just think of things like that and then i don't know it kind of it's kind of like okay hello my name is ellen i have a wedding this weekend I'll pay you a thousand dollars to take pictures of me and my husband and the guests a thousand bucks and we'll I guess we'll kind of make money that way and of course we'll have our little photo shoots and everything like that another thing I was thought, thinking about is how Monique can be a makeup artist I found a makeup pose set basically like the like a person's putting on makeup on another person and I thought that would be a fun way of us doing like some speed cast videos People want some dramatic makeup. Maybe it's graduation. Maybe you're going and out and on the town. Again, another wedding. And we can intertwine these things. Like, hi, I, I heard that you're a photographer and a makeup artist. And I need my makeup done for my wedding. And I also want you to take pictures. I'll pay you $1,500 for the entire evening. And then we'll kind of do like a speed cast. A little photo shoot. A little American Next Top model type shoot. Oh, and a lot of things like model poses and things like that. I have all of those kind of poses downloaded in my game, and I think it would be awesome if we incorporated that. So, if you have any ideas or scenarios like that, please let put put them in the description. I mean, what? Put them in the comments down below. I will really, really, really appreciate that. It will help us out a lot. And in the meantime, I think we're just gonna have to do some painting of, of reference because paintings work. Um, painting of references and just doing some things that way. I wish it wasn't the case because I really wanted this LP to focus around photography and poses that was like that was a huge influence for this LP it was different I've never done it before especially with the poses and in the city like I haven't seen a lot of the city background and I know it's so talked about and thing like things like that so right now we're picking the apartment this is still in the in the thing but we're gonna we're moving apartments we're going to the cheapest one which is the one with the gremlins but anyway Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like the concept of this. And I will see you guys in the next part. Remember to stay lovely. Stay, stay beautiful. Stay lovely. Have a grand, grand day. Bye, guys.